Now, the next question. When we build a high-performance processor, which, of course, is going to be power efficient, what are we optimizing for? One choice is minimizing latency. Latency is the amount of time to complete a task. We measure latency in units of time, like seconds. The other choice is throughput. Throughput is tasks completed per unit time. And we measure throughput in units as stuff per time, like jobs completed per hour. Unfortunately, these two goals are not necessarily aligned. In America, if you have a driver's license or a car, you've had the unfortunate opportunity to visit a government office called the Department of Motor Vehicles. If you're not from America, you've probably visited something like it. So in your head, when I say DMV, substitute your favorite government office. When you visit the DMV, it's a very frustrating experience. You wait in lines a lot. This is not necessarily the fault of the DMV, though. The reason this happens is because your goals are not aligned with the DMV's goals. Your goal is to optimize for latency. You want to spend as little time in the DMV as possible. Instead, however, the DMV optimizes for throughput, specifically the number of customers they serve per day. Consequently, these two people sitting behind the desk right here that work for the DMV want long lines. Long lines mean their hardworking employees are always busy because there's never a time they don't have a customer waiting. Traditional CPUs optimize for latency. They try to minimize the time elapsed of one particular task. GPUs instead choose to optimize for throughput. This is a fundamentally different approach, and one that is aligned with technical trends in the computer industry. I'll refer you to a 2004 article by David Patterson called Latency Lags Bandwidth. There are many, many applications where optimizing for throughput is the right approach. In computer graphics, for instance, we care more about pixels per second than the latency of any particular pixel. We're willing to make the processing time of one pixel take twice as long if it means we get more pixel throughput. This class's homework focuses on image processing applications. Here, we also care more about throughput, which is more about pixels produced per second than the time for one individual pixel. Image processing applications are a perfect match for the GPU, which is why we're so excited about using them as a driving example in this course.